Welcome to the Forbidden Archaeology YouTube channel. This channel will be operating around a few basic points. Number one, that the ancient history that you are familiar with, that you know of, that you have been taught in school, that you have been told by your parents, is all a scam. Number two, the interest of creating the scam, people that are interested in perpetuating the scam, those that control it, etc. Number three, the behavioral conditioning to reinforce the scam through the use of money. What this channel is not about is creationism versus evolutionism. The viewer should understand that there's also an agenda out there, a motive to show uh, or debunk science by showing a lot of these forbidden uh, archaeological sites or forbidden artifacts, out of place artifacts as they're called because they just don't fit into the timeline, the accepted timeline of our history, uh, as a way to debunk science, as a way to legitimize their religious beliefs, mainly that God created people less than 5,000 years ago. God created the earth, God created people just a mere thousands of years ago, not millions of years ago. Therefore, evolution cannot exist because there wasn't enough time to evolve. There wasn't enough time for humans to evolve. And I call bullshit on that. So we are going to tread lightly on the subject of forbidden archaeology. We're going to be very careful about what we talk about. We're going to look at who's talking about it, especially, because that opens up a whole nother set of problems, which is archaeological fraud. A lot of these people, particularly Mormons, will falsify evidence as a way to show that Jesus Christ was in the United States and therefore you know the Mormonism is the true religion and what, what not what have you so we're gonna be very careful with that and we're gonna look into it although it will be presented here but we will also look into evidence that it is false at the same time we have to keep an open mind because there is the other side that wants to perpetuate the lie that wants to keep it that way history can be seen as the way I see history is like a puzzle. You've got all the pieces laid out and it's a very complex puzzle. And a lot of times, you know, you're gonna get you're gonna get these clumps of pieces that fit nicely together and they're gonna be little clumps everywhere. You're gonna fit together pieces here and there. The way that archaeology works, the way that anthropology works, the way that history is uncovered is not in a linear fashion. That is, we don't start with the first and then go to the second and the third. It's not linear. We discover things at random and it is like putting a puzzle together you could get you know here's a corner you got a corner built and it's and it's a corner it's clearly a corner and then you've got something that's probably in the middle and then you have the edge of another part of the puzzle but they don't necessarily all fit together and my problem is I have a problem when archaeology and science tries to be absolute and they say that this is the first because it is the earliest therefore it is the first and then this came after and then this came after so it is the second, and it is the third, and this is how it is. <clears throat> and that's wrong. It's It would be tantamount to having your puzzle, having small pieces put together in little areas, and then forcing them together. I don't know if you've ever built a complex puzzle before. I'm sure you have on a rainy day. But imagine being very frustrated and wanting the pieces to fit together. And you know they don't fit together, but you want them to, so you force them together. And it, what you get is this dilapidated puzzle that really doesn't make any sense. And this is the state of history today. It is this this functional puzzle with pieces that we don't know where they fit scattered all around with large chunks of the puzzle already put together that clearly do fit forced together with other pieces that clearly fit that is you got a set of pieces here that are fitting nicely another set of pieces fitting nicely that are forced together and they really don't belong together the rest of the pieces which belong to the puzzle and they are valuable pieces they are parts of history and they're thrown away pieces that should not be thrown away pieces that fall victim to the black market to private collections that are handled by people that are that don't know what they're doing and what ends up happening is that reinforces the claims by the status quo by the consensus that these pieces are false and the reality is they're not false they're just mishandled or they have been thrown away or they have been buried there are a lot of cases where archaeologists have been compelled because of evidence that they do not fit in the timeline they have been compelled to bury the evidence to put it back so we're going to talk a lot about behavior of scientists we're going to talk about the motive behind it and we're going to talk about the effects of it on this channel stay tuned